this is gonna be an exciting video. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step, -step, slow down tutorial on how I do my makeup tutorial, okay? Well, how do my makeup, not makeup tutorial. So, one thing that I will start by saying is that I am not gonna do my eyebrows today, and that is simply because I wanna give you a separate video on that. Eyebrows take some time, okay? Now, me personally, I get my eyebrows threaded. If you make it yours laminated or waxed, don't do your eyebrows. I do not feel like you should fill in your eyebrows if your eyebrows are already filled in. You know, that I don't I don't want to put my eyebrows in. My eyebrows are already thick. So no matter, I don't even do my eyebrows at all. So I'll do a whole separate video if you want to see that. But right now, let's focus on the face. Because you can't fill the face in. The, the face can't be pre-makeup, okay? You can't, or you can't get tattoo makeup. But we're gonna focus on the face right now and we'll do eyebrows later. And you'll see when I finish my makeup. Eyebrows is not really super necessary if you've already got something going on here. Now, if you have nothing there, next video. All right, so let's start. Okay, so first things first, let's get into the nails because you're going to be seeing these all video, baby. I got the Beetlejuice nails going on and they are fire. Shout out to Pressed by Insanity. She does house calls in Atlanta and she also works at Buckhead Signature Nails. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get into that. All right, so first things first. I start with, we're going to start with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Smooth and Blur Primer. And this is like going to like take all your pores, any um, texture you have on your skin, just kind of blur it out. If you have any shininess on your skin, it'll really just smooth that out. Now, the key to being able to do your makeup quick is to use a thick concealer. We're going to use this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. When I say this stuff is so thick, I may do about two layers and that's it. Um, makeup starts to take longer when you're using a thinner concealer. You're having to constantly apply different layers. You want to do that with this. This is a, a quick one and done, almost, you know, two and done type thing. Now for me, this concealer follows the one drop rule. It follows the one drop rule. I ain't gonna hold you guys. You don't need much, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do little dots of this concealer and I'm gonna show you my exact placement that I put it in. So pay attention. This is about how much I have squeezed out, if you can see that. And I'm gonna literally apply this in dots. So watch this. Dot, 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 dot. I have applied this directly under my eye in this shape. I'm gonna do another row directly under it. Okay, now I'm gonna come down the sides so that I can cover up my smile lines and I'm gonna go over my lip. When it comes to my lip, I like to have a pouty lip. So I will have the sides come down and the tip go up. So it will be this shape like this, okay? I'm doing dots down the side of my nose. And then I'm going to do dots across here. Okay, so as you can see, I have kind of put my dots in that shape that I want my lip to have. Same thing on the other side. Okay, now you can see the placement of where I have my concealer. Now, this may be different if you have a thinner concealer, in which case, or the type of concealer you have, if it has a brush or a wand, you ain't up gonna do a whole line. But you want to be sure to keep it in these parameters. Because this is a squeeze out, this is how I do it with my dots. But you wanna keep it in these parameters simply because these are the areas you want highlighted. You do not want your highlight to come way down here and way out here. Those are not the areas you want highlight. Well, at least not in my tutorial. You don't want them layers highlight, okay? Now, when I come in with my, this is an elf blending brush. When I come in with this brush, I'm gonna try to keep everything as close to the line that I've created as possible. Of course, it's not gonna be directly in, in these lines, but as close as possible is key. All right, so going in with my elf blending brush, I am just dabbing and a slight swipe, so uh, uh, uh. But as I'm doing the uh, 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 I'm doing a slight, a slight swipe with it. So, so dab, slight swipe, dab, slight swipe. 
And what you want to do is look up to make sure that you get this area right here. You want this area to be covered as well. So I'm going to start with my dab and swipe. And I'm going to look up and do the same thing. Now, on this outer corner here, if you want your face to have a lifted look, you're going to bring it up because you're going to lift everything. So you can see how I've placed it, how I have it lifting up. And you can see how I have tried to stay in these parameters of where I drew my dots. Not necessarily perfect, but you can see how very close it is, right? That's where I want to focus my concealer at. If it goes a little bit lower, it's okay. Just make sure you're not dragging it down. You know, back then, we, people used to do like the V here. I'm not doing that no more. Right? Now, I'm going to come down from my sides. Then I'm going to do my lip. Come back up and do the side. So, I'm coming down now. And I'm getting right up in this corner right here. And now, watch my lip shape, okay? I told you how my lips to look. It's what I'm about to do. I am taking this and I'm bringing it in. Okay? So I'm just following here. I'm going to bring it in some. I'm dragging this down on my lip. You can see a different shape starting to form, right? So, now you can see I have two different lip shapes, and this is the one I'm going with. So, coming back on this side, this is, this is how it would look if I kept it regular, right? If I just dragged here, do, 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 regular. But I want to pout, so I'm bringing it in. So, I'm dragging it down this way. And now you see the whole new lip shape. All right, now I'm going up. Right in that nose crease. And I'm coming up to that eye. And I'm doing the same dab and drag. But you can see I'm still trying to stay in those parameters that I created. And I'm just going over things with the excess that I have on my brush because some places have a little more concealer than others. So we're using the leftover to make everything look even. Now, the reason why I do my concealer first before my foundation is because when I put my foundation on, I blend out all of the harsh lines of my concealer. If you do foundation first and then concealer, your harsh lines are still there. But the way I do it is once I put my foundation on, we can blend together. So, this is the Chanel Le Beige in the shade BD141. Now, when it comes to my foundation, I'm going to apply this directly on my face in lines, all right? So watch how I do it. Line, right? So I'm squeezing and dragging down. Line, 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 line. Now, if you want to do foundation on your forehead, you can do foundation on your forehead. I personally do not do it because it changes the structure of your forehead. And for me, no matter how many different products I use, I can never get that same structure back. And I love the structure that my forehead has. So instead of putting foundation on my forehead, I use a bronzer to bring that back in. That way my forehead does not look like nothing's up there and foundation's here. We're using a bronzer to bring color and make everything match up, all right? And I'm using this brush. I believe this is a... It Cosmetics Brush, K-E-T-40-W. I'm going to do 
swipe down motions, swipe down motions, and I'm gonna go under here, but I'm not gonna go all the way to my neck simply because this Chanel foundation matches my neck pretty well. So I don't see a need to put it on my neck, but if you do have a foundation that does not match your neck as well, make sure that you're dragging it down onto your neck just to make sure that everything blends in right. Swiping down, right? Don't worry about putting this right now. Let's just focus on swiping down. We're swiping down. And swiping down. I'm getting under right here. Just to make sure that's a smooth blend. All right. Now, let's get into blending out this concealer. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap at the lines, okay? Do not bring this up any closer than any. Don't, don't cover your concealer. We're not putting it here. We are simply putting it right at the lines to blend the lines in, okay? So, look. I'm doing slight drags, right? Down, 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 down. Right, right at that line, okay? Same, just follow all of the lines. Slight drags. I come up here to this corner. Now look at that. Versus. Mm-hmm. Same thing on the other side. Slight drags down. Right on the edge. We're not coming up here. We are staying on the edges. Now my nose. I am stippling that in. I'm patting it. Bop, bop, bop. And I'm going to drag it up. If you want a contoured nose, if you do not, don't do it. If you would like one, I'll show you how. Use what is left over on your concealer brush, okay? Now, we're turning our head to the side. Well, I am so you can see. And as you can see right now, you can stop here and leave your concealer where it is here and leave your nose the shape it is. It, that's up to you. I'm going to bring mine in for a more snatched look. So, I'm going to make sure I'm running right. Okay. I'm going to create a um a crescent a crescent shape so watch this with what's left on my brush nothing extra okay so i've come in and create that crescent shape you can see on this side it's not there but on this side it is now i'm coming on the other side same thing with the crescent shape. And that's bringing that from here, the corner of my eye, down to, and I'm gonna be more specific. I have not covered this nostril. So I have brought it from the corner of my eye to right above where I would flare. Can you see when I flare? Where this flares? I'm going to bring it right above that flare, okay? Next, you're going to draw an exclamation point down your nose, okay? So a line and a point. Now, I have a very um, downward sloped nose. So the point of my nose is about here. But I want an upturned nose. So I'm not going to put my point here. I'm going to bring my point up a little bit higher just to make my nose look a little bit more upturned, okay? I am drawing a straight line down. And then right here, I'm going to go side to side. Now I'm going to use my foundation brush and just go right here on the tip and do a couple of swipes upward just to blend it in so it's not a harsh line right there. So now we have the basis of our makeup. This is everything, okay? All right, congratulations, friends. We've reached the home stretch. You made it through, all right. So we're going to get 
a pressed powder. I have the MAC Dark Deep in the Mineralized Skin Finish, okay? And this is a couple of shades, good Lord. This is a couple of shades lighter than I am. And then I have a little triangle sponge thing. So I'm gonna roll around in here with the corner of the sponge. I kind of fold it like it's a tostito. With the corner of the sponge, I'm gonna roll around in here. I'm gonna put this on every single part that has concealer. So start in here on my lip. And basically what we're doing in my mind is giving this an initial dry down so that the concealer is completely set. Going up here in this corners. Okay, so once we've done that, we're gonna go in with our setting powder. My favorite right now is the Ben Nye Pretty Pink. So I've placed it in the cap. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go over every single area that I put concealer at. Now, here's the key thing that we're gonna do. When it comes to our under eyes, some people, in the beginning step, they will do two layers of concealer. They'll do, one, not two layers, they'll do two types of concealer. They'll do one that's a darker and they'll do one that's lighter. The one that's lighter, they'll put in their inner corner. Because this concealer is so thick, there is no need for me to do that. Instead, what I do is I let my inner corner bake longer and I set the rest of my face quicker. And you'll see what I'm saying once I show you. So starting off, getting all the spots that I put concealer on. And I'm gonna dab those in immediately, okay? So watch this. Immediately. I'm dabbing those in. Coming to the inner corners of my nose. Immediately, dabbing that in. And exclamation point, immediately dabbing in. Side of my nose. Immediately dabbing in. Now I'm keeping it right on the sides. I'm not going under this on the inner corner yet, just on the sides. Here's where you gotta pay attention. I am going to place this from my inner corner to my outer corner, but I am only going to dab in the outer corner. So watch this. Dabbing in the outer corner and letting that inner corner sit so that inner corner can be brighter. I'm gonna put a little bit extra in my inner corner just for that brightness. Now in the meantime, the in-between time, we're gonna work on our contour. So I am using, I believe this is the It Cosmetics brush. All the name and stuff done rubbed off, child. I am using the MAC Radiant Richer Rosy Skin Finish. This is the perfect, when I tell you I have such high and low for a bronzer for someone of my shade of color, baby, I found it, this is it, okay? It just fits everything that we need. So I'm taking my blush brush, and this will be the same brush that I use for my blush. And I'm dabbing in here, one, two, three. And I'm going to use this on both of my cheeks because this is very pigmented. I am tapping this right in the kind of middle of my face, right here. And what I'm going to use left over my brush is I'm going to come right here on my jawline. We're not going to bring it down here. We're not going to bring it up here directly on the line of my jaw. Now here's what I was telling you that I do not put foundation on my head, but instead I use my bronzer. So I will tap this 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze my blush brush tight to make it a skinny line. And I'm going to go in a, um, a rainbow shape. I'm going to go in a rainbow shape from brow to brow. So if you draw a rainbow from brow to brow, everything else, fill that in. So this rainbow right here, you want to leave that blank, but everything else you fill in. So here I am. Going above. And on the sides. And then I'm going to bring this down. You guys see where this area right here is extra light? I'm going to bring it down here. Rub into that and blend that in. Same on the other side. Now I'm going to use that same brush. And I'm going to go in for some blush. Now this blush is from Nika K, my favorite drugstore brand. And this is the Pink Crush Palette. The gold is crushed in the palette. But we're going to use these two pinks right here. Now when it comes to me doing blush, what I do is I do a sweeping motion. So I pat, 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 pat. So I pat and drag, pat and drag, basically. So you want to start your blush where, you know where we do our highlight at here? Or we did our highlight from here to like here. This is where you want to start your blush, right on the edge of where you put your concealer to highlight, okay? So don't, I, I wouldn't start it there. This is where I started. So remember, I put my concealer here and there. So I would start my blush about here. And I'm doing a pat, pat, pat and drag. And I'm dragging up into my temples. Not my temples, I'm dragging up until about here. I do a slight dab across my nose just to give me a little bit of that flushed look, right? So right here, just a slight, a slight dab of the blush across the nose. We're going to go ahead and blend in our under eye completely. And you can kind of tap this in as I'm doing, I'm tapping this in with the side of my nose just to make everything look like one. So I'm coming in here, slight tap right along the side. The same thing on the other side. And now you can see that the base of everything is gorgeous. So now I'm going to go in with the same bronzer I use, which I have in my hand still, and I'm going to contour my nose. So I'm going to tap this lightly two to three times, and I'm going to draw a line right down the side. Now, remember we put our exclamation point at, right? So you are outlining your exclamation point. So you're completely outlining the circle and completely outlining the line, okay? Now I'm going to drag this up a little bit, up towards the eyebrow. You can drag it into your eyebrow if you would like. It's all up to you. But I'm going to show you how to do mine, okay? So a very light line here. And a very light line there. Just because this is so pigmented. And we're going to drag up. Right? So we're dragging up. Words towards the eyebrow. And same on the other side. Now we're gonna outline our circle. So under our nose, we're drawing a line side to side under the nose and down. And then we're going to outline the actual circle. And on top. So we're just completely outlining the circle. Now you got your nose contour. The last step of the nose contour 
is to use highlighter to draw another exclamation point. So I'm going to use the pink crush palette again. And I'm gonna dab in the gold that is clearly broken. And I'm going to redraw my exclamation point, but with the gold. So line to the side and a line down the middle. Do not connect the two, right? Exclamation point, don't connect the two. Use my ring finger. And I just kind of smooth it out. Just so it blends in. Now, you can get any lip liner you want to use. I prefer to use a dark brown lip liner. And I'm going to trace out my lips in the same shape that I use a concealer to draw them. So power at the top and dragging down the side. All right, so the next step, I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus. This is the Fix Plus Stay Over, but it does not matter what Fix Plus you use because all of them are bomb, okay? They all eat down. And I'm gonna spray my face to set it and be done. Well, I still gonna pull a mascara on some lip gloss, but we're gonna be done, all right? So once our face has dried down, what I do notice, and I haven't even looked at my face, but I already know what's about to happen, is that once I spray this MAC spray, which kind of, it just makes everything melt together. Oh my gosh, it just blends everything so perfectly. You'll never look dry. You'll never look dry. You just, shh, one smooth canvas. But it's going to make you a little shiny in certain areas. So I already know I'm going to keep my powder puff on hand, and I know that in my smile line area, I'm going to need to dab. I haven't even looked at my face yet, I know for a fact. And I do, because you can see right here, this is extra shiny, extra shiny. It's cute, but for me, I like the area to be very dry. So I'm gonna use what I have left over on my little powder puff and wash this. So you can see right here, right? Just shine. And I'm patting right in this area right here. And boom, now that gives me a flawless finish. You can see the difference. I hope you can. I know you can. All right? So I'm doing the same thing on this side. This is so shiny right here. We're not putting nothing new on the powder puff. Just using what we already had and drying that area out. So for mascara, I'm going to use the Chanel mascara. This is the Le Volume. De Chanel. Okay, so for gloss, normally I only use this Nigga K, one in the Music Gloss Store, I believe, lip gloss. This is my go to. I am a Nigga K girly. If I'm going cheap, this is where I'm going, okay? Um, but today I'm going to use this old MAC lip glass I have, y'all. I think it's called Snow Petal. I don't even know. It's a not for individual sale. So I don't know if they sell <laughs> this. <laughs> this is old. Just a little bit. Because I don't understand the hype of paying for $50 lip gloss that's clear. <laughs> why, why am I paying you $50 for a clear lip gloss? Let's get a grip. Let's be so serious about it. And then my main thing is maybe if it's stuck on forever, this stays on for hours. And it's $1.99 and it's thick, good quality, good consistency. I'm not paying $50 for a lip gloss that's going to be going in an hour. What are we doing here? What What is capitalism, okay? I'm, I, I don't like to spend a lot of money. I'm going to spend a lot of money in the quality product. These, these Chanel products I have, quality. 
okay my mac products quality all right i'm not spending no big money on some stuff that's that's not for the whole we not doing that right here never gonna happen let's show you guys this is the finished look this is my basically like an everyday look that I do. I love this look. It's so simple and quick. When I'm not showing it to you, <laughs> it's simple and quick. And that is simply because I'm using a thick concealer. And I'm starting with concealer first. That this process is maybe like 20 minutes. And I started my makeup being like two hours to do. So think of the improvement. Think about the lives I've saved. The lives who are waiting for me to get there. I've saved their lives because I have found the hack and the hack is to get a thick concealer from the jump and you cut your time in half and in quadruple and quarters and in fourths and fifths you cut your time off okay let me know if you see more makeup tutorials because i have them in i got them in a lock box i love a good makeup tutorial but i'm doing all my um i've been focusing on my short form content over on tiktok and on shorts so check those out if you want to see like quicker updates because these are longer videos taking me a little time to get to them but i'm gonna get to them but I'm uploading on TikTok and Shorts every day. So don't, you'll get the quick videos then. If you want the detailed stuff, tell me what you want to see next. And other than that, I'm going to holler at y'all later. Bye.